first get your Banza Cipher 2 portal and you unpack it, you will see that you get both the portal and an HUD. The HUD is required to solve the puzzle and then send the score over to the portal. When you first res the portal, you'll see the status locked. The only way to unlock this portal is by transcoding both a keeper and abundant to artifacted Yumis. You can find out which Yumis are keepers by visiting the Banza Cipher website and clicking Achievements and then entering your name and then click the Keepers tab and you can see a list of all of the Keepers. If you notice green in the background, that means you have already discovered this Keeper. So you may want to look through your inventory or the crystals that are currently out and see if the Keeper is there. Another great way to locate a Keeper is by clicking one of these hyperlinks. So let's say we wanted to look for this second Keeper. So we'll click it, and it's going to take us to a customized Twitter search page. This is going to pull up anyone who has recently discovered a keeper, so you may contact them for a possible trade. You will need to transcode some Yumis ranging from Abundant to Artifacted to be able to unlock this portal. Each Yumi may give you up to 21% nether power per transcode based on the rarity of the tribe. Once you have a keeper, you can transcode it to your portal. You can do this by clicking the backboard of the portal, choose transcode, and now while the center is green, you can long click the keeper and then choose transcode. As you can see, the keeper level has now changed to 2. In addition, the Keeper also gave some Nether level. Now that we have transcoded the Keeper, we will transcode some Yumi so our Nether level can become 100%. We'll transcode the last Yumi. Okay, now our portal has unlocked. Once your portal has unlocked, you will not need to transcode any more Yumis or Keepers. There are multiple features to the HUD. Starting from the left, you will see Facebook takes you right to the Banza Cipher Facebook page. The trophy will take you to the leaderboards page. The Cipher token takes you to your customized achievements page to track your current achievements. And of course, this is our Twitter feed. In the center here is the jackpot bonus, which we will explain later. Over here toward the right, the green magnifying glass is your scan button. The next icon is send to portal. This will send your score when you have completed the puzzle over to the portal. The first step is to wear the HUD. Once you have it worn, you will need to scan 50 DNA samples from Yumi's or Yumi crystals. Each Yumi or Yumi crystal will give you 10 strands of DNA, so you will only need to scan 5. So over here we have 5 Yumi's. So you just press the scan button and your DNA samples will begin to collect. This puzzle is based on the genetic model of species. One DNA sample will look like this. A DNA is made up of a series of amino acids, A, T, C, and G. Basic unit of a gene is a combination of three letters called a codon. The story behind this puzzle is that a Yumi understands the universal language of genetics and telepathically communicates with other Yumis. The goal is to find as many codons in 50 DNA samples taken from Yumis or crystals and broadcast it into their world so that other Yumis can respond. 
So far, we have found that these six codons make up the basic language of Yumi's. You can see the chart to the left. After you have finished scanning the Yumi's, and you're on your first DNA sample, you may spot some easy codons, such as this TTT. In order to extract this codon from the sample, you will want to click the first letter of the set of three letters. So we will click this first T. Sometimes the codons you're looking for could be hidden in the middle between other codons. This means that you may need to shuffle some codons around in order to reach the codon you're looking for. If I remove ATT, the G will move over next to this T and I will get ATG. So I will splice this non-useful codon to bring the G over and now I can collect ATG. I will need to find at least three codons in the next two strands to receive a jackpot, otherwise it will be reset. If you find more than one codon in a strand, you will gain a streak bonus. The longer your streak, the higher your score. If you find three or more codons in a single strand, you will get a bonus toward a jackpot. If you find three or more codons in three consecutive strands, you get a massive jackpot bonus where you will be rewarded a lot of codons. The more jackpots you get, the higher your score. The higher your score, the better the response from the portal and higher affinity of the Yumi that responds. Focus on getting as many jackpots as possible. Without a few jackpot wins, your codon collection process can be very long. If you had to scan a second time, you will need to finish all 50 of those samples before submitting your score to the portal. When you have finished all 50 samples, you can then send to the portal. In order to do this, you click the backboard of the portal, choose Add Cipher, and then click Send to Portal icon on your HUD. There he is. As you can see, the Yumi's affinity is strong. The affinity can be affected by your puzzle score. Affinity is how long a Yumi will stay attuned to the nether. A Yumi with stronger affinity can transcode more times than a Yumi with weaker affinity. You can set the portal on public mode if you'd like to play with your friends. 